and controlled borrowing. The two newspapers stated that the uncontrolled borrowing of the government of Uganda will increase Uganda's debt burden. I would like to correct this information to indicate that government borrowing is absolutely controlled and guided by the public debt management framework, whose objectives are, one, meet government financing requirements at the minimum cost, subject to prudent degree of risk. Two, ensure that the, the level of public debt remains sustainable over the medium term and long term horizon, while being mindful of the future generations. And three, promote the development of the domestic financial markets. Cost effectiveness. The government of Uganda aims to finance its activities and projects in the most cost-effective manner. Multilateral creditors like the World Bank and African Development Bank have provided the largest part of government's financing with the most favorable financing terms. In financial year 2017-18, Multilateral creditors accounted for 68 of total outstanding debt, while bilateral creditors accounted for only 31%, 30, and the commercial banks only accounted for 1% of the external debt stock. The net present value, PV, or public debt to GDP, increased to 30.8 in June 2018 from 27.4 as at the end of June 2017. However, in nominal value, date to GDP as at the end of June 2018 was 41.5% compared with 37.3% at the end of June 2017. In other words, it went up. Uganda's date remains sustainable with nominal date to GDP of 41.5%, which is constant, constant consistent with the findings of the Auditor General's report.